हेलो एंड वेलकम एवरीवन टुडे आवर टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज डबल मार्कर डबल मार्कर इज अ स्पेशलाइज्ड एंटीनेटल टेस्ट द फर्स्ट ट्राइमेस्टर स्क्रीनिंग प्रोग्राम ऑफर्स अ नॉन इनवेसिव ऑप्शन फॉर अर्ली डिटेक्शन ऑफ एन्यूप्लोइडी प्रेगनेंसीज advantages of double marker it helps to identify 90% of women at risk for down syndrome it helps 94% of all major chromosomal defects such as patau syndrome edward syndrome triploidy and turner syndrome and 60% of other chromosomal defects such as deletion partial trisomies unbalanced translocation and sex chromosome aneuploidies other than turners in very early stages of pregnancy limitations of double marker it is only a screening test which provides a risk value for genetic disorder but not the definitive diagnosis for confirmation of any anomaly further diagnostic workup needed like cell free fetal dna prenatal testing or fish and pcr test from amniocentesis neural tube defect detection would require either a separate afp test after 15 weeks or reliance on the fetal anomaly scan at 18 to 22 weeks also known as morphology scan there are three components of double marker first is biochemical marker second is clinical factors and third is ultrasound markers biochemical markers contain pa double pa and free beta hcg pa double pa is pregnancy associated plasma protein a clinical factors include maternal age ethnicity insulin dependent diabetes or ivf pregnancy ultrasound markers are nuchal translucency ductal venosus waveform and fetal nasal bone the combination of these three makes the first trimester risk assessment report the report is generated as normal or a risk for any of the following like trisomy 21 trisomy 18 or trisomy 13 now let's understand the usg marker antenatal ultrasonography which is done at 9 weeks to 13.6 week of pregnancy the ideal time for double marker sonography is 11 weeks informations or value required from the ultrasonography are crl which is crown rump length nt which is nuchal translucency a fluid containing area behind the fetal neck and nasal bone is it seen or not seen nt nt measures a subcutaneous fluid filled space between the back of spine and the skin in the fetal neck the nt measurements needs to be performed by experienced sonographer and should be obtained between 10 weeks and 13 weeks 6 days of gestation which is equivalent to crl between 38 and 84 mm nt can be detected in 99% of fetuses at the end of first trimester the majority of fetuses with down syndrome have an increased nt measurement when compared to normal fetuses of same gestational age now let's learn about the serum markers first is free beta hcg and second is pa double pa free beta hcg Human chorionic gonadotropin is a 39500 dalton glycoprotein hormone normally found in blood and urine only during pregnancy subunits alpha and beta and is produced by syncytiotrophoblast cells of the placenta 
The free beta HCG circulating in the maternal serum correspond to only about 0.3 to 4% of total HCG. Our molecular biology studies have demonstrated that trisomy 21 prophoblast shows a marked increase in beta HCG RNA and a smaller increase in alpha HCG RNA. Next is pregnancy associated plasma protein A. It is produced by placental, sensitio, prophoblast and deciduous. In normal pregnancy, the concentration of PAPPA in maternal circulation increases with gestational age. Decreased level of PAPPA are found in association with abnormal placental function which has formed the basis for first trimester screening of fetal trisomy. The decrease PAPPA seen in trisomy 21, trisomy 18 and trisomy 13 and also small for gestational age infants. This is the values of marker in relation to different trisomies. Here the value of marker is calculated in MOM. The MOM is multiples of median. In the free beta HCG, it is increased in trisomy 21 and it is decreased in trisomy 13 and 18 and it is normal in sex chromosome anomaly. The PAPPA is reduced in four all four types of anomalies. Report the laboratory uses the different mathematical model to calculate a woman's risk of having baby with Down syndrome, trisomy 18 and trisomy 13. Some of the mathematical models include Prisca, Viewpoint and Astria etc. The result is reported by giving the risk values. Using maternal age, the estimated risk for fetal trisomy 21, 18 and 13 for a woman aged 20 at a 12 week of gestation are about 1 in 1000. 1 in 2500 and 1 in 8000 respectively. The risk of such woman delivering an affected baby at term are 1 in 500, 1 in 18000 and 1 in 42000 respectively. The respective risk for these aneuploidies for a woman aged 35 years at a 12 week of gestation are about 1 in 250, 1 in 600 and 1 in 1800 and the risk of such woman delivering an affected baby at the term are 1 in 350, 1 in 4000 and 1 in 10,000 respectively. This picture show the software for double marker estimation. Here you can see there are three columns, list, patients and details. In the patients column, there are so many details required to fill up by pathologist or a technologist. Here you can see patient ID, sample ID, physician name, date of birth is must, age is must, weight is must. Other clinical histories are also important for double markers such as smoking history, diabetes, ethnic origin of mother and if it is IVF pregnancy or not. If the pregnancy is done by IVF and if the donor is used in such pregnancy then the date of birth should be used of that of donor not of the actual mother. Here you can see the details of marker to be filled. The actual value from the machine is feeded here. The median is derived from the population where the lab is working. The MOM and corrected MOM is calculated by software from this median. Here the sonography details required and they are CRL that is crown rum length. The date of sonography is required, number of fetus if it, it is 1 or 2. The date of sampling is required. According to this, 
date of sampling and date of sonography the software calculate the gestational age on the date of sampling here you can feel the detail of nt and the mom is calculated by the software the third tab the detail in this details you have to feel the nasal bone detail if it is seen or not seen if nasal bone is not seen then the risk will be higher and it is reflected in this risk calculation at a sampling date area here you can see the biochemistry risk biochemistry risk plus anti risk and trisomy 13 slash 18 plus anti risk is given here this is the final report showing the graph of double marker in the first column you can see the analyte and its actual value which is derived from the machine and this is showing corrected mom the second block showing lmp usg date and gestational age by usg and this is the graph the x axis show the age and the y axis show the risk here you can see at the age of 24 the risk is less than 1 is to 10000 for trisomy 21 trisomy 13 and 18 so this report shows double marker is normal the normal double marker report shows that the current pregnancy has a risk value that is as equal as that of normal population this black bar shoot up above the cut off value then it is showing the increased risk of either trisomy 21 or trisomy 13 18 or both so here you can see the black bar is above the cut off value at age 28 here the report showing trisomy 21 screen is positive this means the trisomy 21 risk is 1 is to 193 that means among the 193 women having the same parameter only one woman is affected and 192 women will deliver the normal child in the screening of trisomy 21 by maternal age and serum free beta hcg and pa double pa the detection rate is about 65% and a false positive rate of 5% the overall performance of the screening by combined test is better at the 11 weeks these are the references for this video hope you like it thank you bye see you in the next video